The Chris Crock Program continues live on WBAP. Glad you made it, everybody. You got me, Chris Salcedo, sitting in for Mr. Crock. The telephone number for you to use is 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. Uh, today is tax day, of course, and a lot of great coverage out there about how the federal government wastes our money and is never sated in its continuing desire to grow government, take more of our uh, our money. There was a, I can't remember who put this out. I, I posted it on Facebook a little bit earlier today. Basically, it outlined where your money goes, and, and it uses a dollar to make the case. And you may not be surprised here on the Chris Crock Show audience that uh, the majority of your money goes to two places. Well, 49% of it goes to two places, and it's to entitlements. It's to the big ones, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, other health care, uh, 25% goes there, 24% to Social Security, 20% uh, to Income Security and other benefits. Only 18% of that dollar goes to National Defense. 6% of our dollar goes to paying off the debt, the ever-growing national debt. Then you've got transportation taking up 3%. Education, you know, the one that the Democrats always say they covet so much, only gets 1%. All the rest of the federal government gets 3%. Yeah, major entitlements. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security take up 49% of every dollar you pay in taxes. Fun, right? Uh, so as you're probably gathering, you're going to make more money. You need to make more money because, well, the government needs it, and they're going to take it from you, and they're going to leave less and less and less for you at the end of the day. So how do you go about doing this? My next guest has an idea. Mark Bloom, he's the president of Net Worth Realty with offices all over the great state of Texas, including right here in Dallas. Mark has earned both a degree in law and master's of finance, specializing in investments from the University of Miami for the past decade. Mark has worked as a wholesale real estate agent and broker, and Mark now specializes in helping clients buy and sell and hold successful real estate inven uh, investments. Mr. Bloom, welcome to the Chris Crock Show with me, Chris Salcedo. Hey, Chris, thank you for having me. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, it's my understanding that and this has been a phenomenon that has been building, especially here in Texas, because of our favorable real estate market, uh, you know, flipping houses and that. But it, it's seeming that the female element, the female side, the fairer sex, if you will, is really starting to get invested in this as a side business to help make ends meet. I think you're 100% correct, and I think that that takes on or has a couple of catalysts to it. You know, one being just the general movement of our society towards more equality and, and more opportunity for women. Two, being the fact that this is a make-your-own-way kind of a business. You don't need to be hired by someone. All you need to have is the will to desire and then find someone to kind of guide you along the right path, hopefully, if you don't have the education already. And then as you hit on previously, not so much on the female side of it, but more on just the holding of rental properties versus the what for the last 10 years has been the very sexiness of flipping properties. You know, you don't want to pay taxes. I don't want to pay taxes. And one of the things that you get from holding rental properties is a massive shelter uh, from government taxes. That's true. All right. So let's let's talk about a strategy because, you know, a lot of folks out there, and I, and I find myself in this boat too, are saying, well, wait a minute, I can barely afford the house that I've got. How am I going to go out and get an investment property? How am I going to go out and, even if I did want to flip houses, uh, do that when I have no starting capital? Sure, and, and there, there are ways to do that. Can you do it with absolutely zero money? No, you cannot do it with absolutely zero money. It's just like any investment. It is going to have uh, the necessity of some capital to get started. That said, you don't need a hundred or fifty or sometimes even twenty thousand dollars to buy a rental property, and you definitely do not need to keep your capital locked up in a rental property. So, you can get into a rental property in a market like Dallas Fort Worth for probably somewhere between ten and on the outside edge twenty thousand dollar investment, mm -hmm. and realistically, depending on your credit and depending on how many properties you own, that money will be out for anywhere from nine months to a year and you'll be able to pull almost all of your capital back out of that property if it's done correctly. I see. So now, uh, Mark Bloom, by the way, my guest, he's the president of Net Worth Realty. So Mark, uh, we just got through detailing, you know, it's tax day and of course that's very much on everybody's mind. Probably folks have us on the radio right now, those last minute filers trying to struggle to get into Uncle Sam's deadline here. 
And there have to be some tax consequences, not only from the, the gifting of $1.6 trillion of tax increases courtesy of the Obama administration, but there have got to be pitfalls of people, act, like you said, that, who don't do this the right way and leave themselves wide open to a lot of tax consequences. Sure. So, I mean, when people look at flipping property, per se, and they want to make a $100,000 property in our market, you're going to be into that property. If you buy a property from net worth, you're likely going to be in that property around $80,000 after you've purchased it and fixed it and covered most of your carrying costs. So there's a $20,000 profit. But what people don't realize is you're going to have to pay not long term, short term capital gains on that property. That's going to eat into that $20,000. There are several ways to shelter that, but you have to know what you're doing. You need someone like a net worth or a professional, not just a, not that some real estate agents don't know what they're doing, but not just a real estate agent, someone who understands investment properties and how that structure works and how to best work that structure in order to get the most out of each opportunity. Now, as the government continues to work to squeeze more money out of we the people, how are you able to, to combat that? Because I, I, it's no secret to folks who are in business like you, to many in the WBAP audience, that this government is incredibly hostile toward we the people and trying to get more and more money to, to fund, as we, as we mentioned, all of their entitlement programs rather than going to, to fund the basic functions of government. Yeah, and they are. You know, government is always reaching it, and they, despite their motives, whatever they may be, mm -hmm. they are looking to get into your pocket. And what you see them doing with your dollar may not always be what you would choose to do with your dollar, so best you keep that dollar in your pocket. We live in a very nice society, and I do think there's a cost that goes along with that, but entitlements are not necessarily something that all of us feel we benefit from. By owning rental property and or even flipping property, you create write-offs. For instance, in a business of flipping and or renting property, when you close, all of your closing costs, any rehab, any property management fees, all of that is a write-off. The interest on the loan is a write-off. The depreciation on the asset is a write-off. All of these things become a write-off. Now, you're getting to write off the interest on the loan, but really, who's paying that loan? Well, your tenant's paying that loan. So you're getting a write-off on money that the tenant is paying to the bank for you. Excellent. All right, Mark Bloom, he's the president of Net Worth Realty, offices all over the great state of Texas, and including right here in Dallas. If folks want to head to a website and maybe check out more about your system, and maybe they, maybe this is the year after, they, after they've uh, filled out this tax return saying, man, i got to be able to do this uh, a little more to, to my advantage rather than to the government's advantage, where can they go? Sure. Go to www.networthrealtyusa. That's networthrealtyusa.com. You can click around. I am in Dallas. If anybody wants to sit down with me, I'm happy to give my expertise. We do not charge for knowledge. We only make money when we sell a property to someone. Yeah. That is how true capitalism works. I'm not looking to profit off my knowledge. I want to help people invest in properties. And they can save their taxes. And if you look at when to buy, you buy low and you sell high. And right now, the real estate markets are at all-time lows. You have a very low probability of values going any lower. And the population is going to continue to grow. Texas is going to continue to grow because of the kind of state that we are and our aggressiveness towards bringing business in. You buy now, you hold on, you let a tenant pay your note, you take the write-offs, and your properties will appreciate. All right, Mark Bloom, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate the expertise. Yeah, I, the reason I wanted to get him on is I wanted to have – everybody's out there – signing on the dotted line and you're looking at that form and you're going, man, alive, look at how much money I just shoveled out of the federal government. Uh, we talked about in the 4 o'clock hour today about Tax Freedom Day. For the entire nation, it's coming up on the 21st. For us, it was, you know, if you break it down by state, we reached Tax Freedom Day two days ago. But, man, alive, it, it's just, it, it really sickens me every single time I sign that and I see how much money I'm paying for what. When you look at our foreign policy, when you look at Obamacare, when you're looking at the state of the federal government right now, it's just in a shambles. So why, why support ineptitude? Why support an incompetent government? You know, support yourself. And there are ways to do it more successfully, and, and Mark Bloom is really good at it. So I thought I'd get him on and let you, and let you at least start thinking about a different way to generate money for yourself.